Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back, Kellen with Troy Life. So today we're gonna to look at this app called TSF Pro or TSF Shell or TSF Shell Pro 3D. We're not exactly sure what they're gonna officially call it, but it's a launcher that was teased a couple months ago and it blew all of our minds. It was something that was similar to what TAT was doing, TAT was doing, that was bought by RIM. They were doing years ago and uh, never happened because RIM bought them. So it looks similar to that. It's a home replacement. It's it's fantastic, okay? The only problem is it's $17, right? So I'm just gonna walk through this and show you guys some of the cool stuff. I'll let you guys decide if you wanna shell out $17 or not for it. So far, I've noticed it being one of the more powerful, one of the coolest launchers I've ever used. I'm still not sure that anyone should have to pay $17 for it, but hey, if you got some money to blow, you want to um, play with your phone some more and learn a whole new, basically, UI, feel free to jump on it. So let's jump in. First thing you get to when you unlock is your card, I wanna call it, of apps. And you can see I've got all my apps in here. And actually it's infinite scroll, so you can just keep going. Okay, what I mean by card is you have this launcher button down here. Let me zoom in a bit. You have this launcher button down here, and if I press this, it gets you into your card view. And you can see I've got five cards, four of them are completely empty, and one is just for my apps, okay? Also from this view, you'll see a couple of menus over here. Let me zoom in again. When you're at your app card, if you hit this button, it's a quick menu to change transitions. So if you press that, it gives you a preview of what your transition for your apps are, and then it lets you decide if you wanna keep it or not, okay? So when you select it and hit close, now that transition is on my device. So it's kinda of cool, it's just a quick way to change transitions. Um, the other thing is this other menu. This other menu, you can see you have a smiley face. Oops. You have a smiley face, which is your favorite apps, and you can add and change those. You have one that's sort of a shortcut to widgets, which is, the TSF Pro widgets, so this is not your normal widget menu. And then you have this thing, it's just a pin, and they have some things preloaded in there. I'm not exactly sure what to call them. They're not really widgets, they're more like home decoration. And we'll see if there's other things to add to that later. We'll get to that also in a bit. So um, from here though, so you've got your apps, okay? And like I said, you have these other cards, and they're like you see, I have them blank. And all you do to select them is start with your home button, and just sort of drag up and you get to choose whichever one you want, okay? So let's add some stuff. So you can grab just a single app and then drop it on a card and you can move it around, you can drop it in the trash just like we've done down here, okay? But they've done this cool thing where you can double tap to select apps. So you can see I've selected all of those. Now if I long press on one, it grabbed all of those apps and then it put them on one page. And it also put them there so I can quickly um, change the arrangement of those if I want. So that looks good and we'll tap out. And now all those apps are right there. So it's, it's crazy how they've done. Also though, what they've built in is this lasso tool. So I can lasso all of these apps. And if I come back to the starting point, I get a whole bunch of options. So you can see there's an arrangement. Let me zoom in on that. Arrangement, gather, multi-choice, create folder, delete. So gather is apparently not included yet. They haven't added that feature. But arrangement, if I tap that, it gets me back to this view and I can arrange these however I want. Okay, if we select that again, and let's say we go to multi-choice, it gives me this select view and then I can grab them and move them around, delete them all from that page, whatever I wanna do. Okay, if I go to create folder, it'll just automatically throw them in a folder for me. Now I have a folder, you can go up there and name the folder whatever you like, okay? And then we can zoom out of there. There's our folder. Um, and then we can you know, delete that if we want. I'm wondering if I can do get rid of that folder. Nope, can't get rid of that. So the only thing I wish they would do is have a quick way to get all these apps back out of the folder. I can't figure out how to do it. There's probably not a way. So anyway, that's just some quick functionality you do with the lasso, bringing apps over, things like that. Um, you can also, let me go back and just grab some more apps. So I can put these, let's just put them on a new card all by themselves. Let's go ahead and say I want to add all of these to my favorites. So I lasso these and I say multi-choice. Oh wait, let me try that again. I swear I just did this. Multi-choice long press, and I can actually add these right into the sidebar. Now all of these apps are in there. You can see it's scrollable, it's got the whole fling, that might be over flinging, but, uh, or the bounce back. So now all those apps are in there. So, sort of a cool shortcut, and this is you know available on every screen, so. 
Um, let's show you guys some widgets though, since they've released these now. So the first one is a music widget. And I'm not gonna lie, I cannot get the music widget to do that pop-up transition. So if I hit play on this song, oh look, it actually four stop. Let me try that one more time. See, I can get it to pop this up, but it's supposed to have this fancy like 3D animation. Let me drop that all the way down. And uh, I got it to pop up one time, and now I cannot get it to pop up. I've tried gestures. I've, oh, there we go. Who knows how I just did that, but somehow I just did that. So you can see it's got this 3D animation, and if you swipe down, it lets you Oh, there we go. So it's a swiping gesture, of course it is. And if you swipe down, it lets you change tracks, things like that. So it's this really cool 3D animated music widget. All right, so let's just leave that there and let's go to a whole new blank home screen. And whoops. And let's go ahead and throw in the weather. So you can drop weather in. And when you put weather in, it starts out just like this. If you tap on it, it goes animated, it gives you a city view. I don't know what the hell smoke means. All I know is it's snowing outside in Portland right now. So I don't know what smoke means. Um, but this is, uh, you can, at least I was earlier. Whoops. Whoops. All right, that's annoying. There we go. Um, it was almost like it was animated and I could make things move. Oh, there we go. Somehow I made those move. So anyway, I don't know. They've done some really cool job with the weather and the music widget. You can tap that and make everything hide. Um, the other thing they've done is they've released a memo um, widget and you can tap on this and you can leave yourself a note. So you can change brush size. Let's just go with that one and I could say with my chicken scratch Droid Life, and then click that and save it. And there we go, so there, now you have a note. You can see it, widgets can overlap each other, all kinds of crazy stuff. Um, all right, so the other thing I wanna show you, well, there's probably I could probably go on for, for hours here, but let's, uh, let's grab some more apps and go to our last empty page here. And yeah, that looks fine. So if you long press on one and you have control of it, as long, if you go multi-touch with another finger, you can actually rotate the app to however to be whatever angle you want. And then it'll stay like that. So I can go this way, I can go this way. And now you sort of have this really neat fun effect with crooked apps and things like that. So um, I don't know, kind of a weird thing, but it's kind of cool. You can see if you were really designing some widgets, you could you know bend around them, things like that. Um, and if I want to click delete all those, just lasso them and delete them. So um, you can't flip between screens. You can see if I go try to go between screens like this, it tries to use the lasso tool. So in order to get between screens, you do have to go back down to this launcher. So that's sort of um, something that's going to take some getting used to. Um, oh, and you can also add just regular old Android widgets too. So I can just long press and say widget. And I could add, say, the power control and it'll just fit right in there. So it does use all of the uh, normal Android widgets as well, um, but it's just added a whole bunch of new cool stuff. So you can see these overlap right on top of each other. You can just move those around. I don't know if these will. Oh yeah, everything just overlaps right over top of each other. So that's pretty cool. You could do some really fun things with widgets that way. So um, that is uh, pretty much just the briefest of overviews. And uh, I just wanted to show you guys quickly how that works and just a brief, brief preview. I think they have more functionality and more widgets showing up eventually in the near future. But um, so far, this is one of the cooler launchers I've ever used. Again, I'm not sure if it's worth $17, but hey, if you got some money to blow and you just want to play with uh, one of the coolest launchers ever, you might want to check out TSF Shell Pro. Um, as you can see, it works on my GSM Galaxy Nexus. For whatever reason, it's not compatible not compatible with the LTE version. Um, I'm not exactly sure why that is, but you can see it works flawlessly on my GSM Nexus. So anyways, we're Droid Life. We'll let you guys discuss this in the comments. Check us out, please.